<laughs> What's up, buddy? Dude. Better get out of that rope because it's time to go do some camping. What? What do you, what do you mean? Yeah. Dude, what? what, what, what no, we what, don't need that anymore. What? Yeah, dude. dude. I'm look at, look outside, bro. I know. It's snowing on him. We, right we got to go do some camping. What are you doing with my gear? Well, we're done with this. Bro, what? I like the shirt, though. Where are we going, boy? Camping. Camp? We're going to do some camping. <laughs> Has it been plowed at all? Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, actually, maybe it has. Somebody plowed, like, that's good. Just a bear right away. <laughs> Bro, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting sketchy it's out, getting dude. It's getting sketchy out. Guys, look how deep the snow already is. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like probably already like five inches and it's going to keep going all night. It's not even, I think it's like 10 p.m. right now. So hopefully you don't get stranded out here, but we got to get all these lights turned on here and get our tent set up before it gets uh, too deep. Tip over if you go too high. You can spread off the legs. Yeah. I should have done that first actually. <laughs> Bro, just can't I like sit there and watch you instead? You watch me struggle. <laughs> That's one of the canopy things. Canopy? This is the main tent. You just gotta spread it out, I guess. It's heavy, like well built. Yeah, it's dude, it's a nine hundred dollar tent. That's the auto pump. Yeah, so I think it said you gotta close this. Gotta make sure this is closed because this is how you deflate it. But then you turn this on, I guess. We gotta put the thing in there. It's probably right here. Hopefully it's keen charged, that's all I gotta say. I don't find out. It said it'll do it five times when it's fully charged. Yes. That's crazy. This is sweet. Yeah. Dude, awesome. Okay guys, so far, this is sweet experience. Obviously I've never opened this before because you got your uh, poles here for the awnings. Quite a few, they look like high quality. We'll probably be setting these up here. You guys can see my new power station here by All Powers R4000. I got it covered up by that EcoFlow blanket there because that's actually powering this Goal Zero light. The battery that's built in was already dead, so thank God we have that. We gotta help it. I mean, it probably would have went up. There's a bunch of stakes in here, guys. You can see, and then you got the tie down if you wanna like tie it from there. There you go. They seem like decent. Yeah, they're pretty beefy. If there's a rock, you'd be probably screwed though. You can try. There, there, it's done. Did it go in? Yep. Good. I can hit it if you're tired. Joel starts <laughs> throwing up. I put two stakes in, I'm done. I'm gassed. <laughs> yeah. I just can't just handle it. Should probably shut this door. Yeah, I would shut it. Otherwise, all that snow is going to get in there. There's the screen, and then here's here's the door. This is our shelter tonight, guys. It's pretty cool. I 
it up now, boy. <laughs> well, guys, we caught the awning up here. I don't think we did it exactly how you're supposed to. I think you're supposed to put two of these stakes with ropes on each one, kind of spreading it out. And so we added four on this side, and then we only have three stakes on that side. So we do have some extra ones if we wanted it higher. But we wanted it so it kind of slants a little bit, so hopefully some of the snow comes off it. So we're going to get this thing in there before it gets absolutely soaked. Oh, it looks sweet. Got a little snow in there. What are you doing? <laughs> Get up, bro. He's like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> well, guys, here's our setup so far. We got the little table, the little light. Joel's got to get up. We got our double heater. And then I got the power station here. It's actually uh, backwards, but we're about to turn the heater on tonight. Got these little air vent things here. You can prop open. That's pretty sweet. This snow is going to be really heavy tonight because it's just so wet. We got this door shut all the way. Nope. We got to zip this up. Yeah, this is going to be really wet, heavy snow on top of this tent. And then these, I think, latch. Ooh, we're getting wind kicking up, bro. how dark it is out here guys pitch dark in the middle of the woods yet we have this super bright area this thing is sweet and you can stake this down too like if it's windy there's spots in here you can stake it down but so far i'm really liking this tent this thing has like really solid it's by lighters trusted outdoor partner has these really thick like this feels really hard like it feels like squeezing somebody's like muscular arm that's how strong that is and i guess there's like layers in there so it's muscular not just a two arm. feel it that's a weird analogy strange like grab my arms. why do my arms not feel like that um i gotta pump them up <laughs> got some fire started dude you ready let's do it okay have us a nice nice little fire let's just use it all, oh huh? my gosh let's just use all that that'll work started. Ready? Yeah. Get in close. Whoa. Is the snow falling in snow? Oh my god. So good. Beautiful guys, look at this. Let's turn this light off here. Highly recommend this light guys, this thing is sweet. Got this little button you can press still charging it but it's got four settings and if you hold it down look at that well, there's pure ice down there probably yeah think there's any skinwalkers out here tonight uh should we see sure get our cozy little shelter 
cold, dark forest. You see that? Yeah. That's an Aztec death whistle. Let's try it out. Bro, it's so sketchy, dude. Dude, what well, if something came in right now? Let me walk down there a little bit and I'm gonna blow it. Okay. Definitely sounds like a little girl screaming or something. <laughs> a little girl? That sounds like some <laughs> spirit like floating around out there. That too, Isn't that dude. Crazy though. It is. Look at this, guys. Beautiful snow. Well, guys, we're gonna leave the safety of the safe tent. Do a little stroll through the woods oh, here. Dude. Depending on how deep this is, we're not necessarily dressed the best for it. I don't even have snow pants or anything on. Yeah, this is sweet. What birds are those? Maybe a sandhill crane? Yeah, yep, that's what it is. I think there's a spot you can overlook the lake. Yeah, you can. I don't know if you can see much with all this snow coming down. It's like with the flashlights, it glares right off of all the snow. I think the lakes is right down here. Right there. Yeah, there's a lake down there, but we can't really see because there's so much snow. We walk our trail here. Get pretty deep, guys. There we go. Ooh, it's gonna warm up quick. This is gonna be really heavy in the morning, guys. So it's probably gonna be sagging down hardcore if it's even still up together. Oh my God, am I on fire, bro? Like almost tucks, look at the moisture. Just come right off my pants. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. I think putting up a ton of heat. Got both vents open, so. Got our carbon monoxide detector here. A lot of moisture was coming in because we had this open quite a bit, but this thing should be okay. Yes, we're still at 92%. That's good. Can charge my phone. Snow hitting? Yeah. Listen to it. Hear the sound of the snow. Wait. I will say this thing will hold in the heat, that's for sure. We haven't had it on that long at all, and it's warming up quick. I'm real impressed with how str these are like super solid. That pump really filled this up. Like, I feel really safe in this shelter too with these six beams and this is nice. Got little pouches here. Put your phone or whatever. There's one over there too. Got a nice hook up there. You can see they have these zippers right here that protect this, the inside tubing. And then there's another one right here so there's another lining around the air. So there's at least two layers. And then you can see it's got a window on all six sides with screens that you can open. Crawl in this nice little sleeping bag. Ah. All right, guys, well, we are going to bed here. It is really late. It's what time? 1.36 in the morning. We got out here really late. It was like 10 p.m. when we got out here. So we will uh, see you guys in the morning. Good night. Oh my god, bro. Look what? at the tarp. What? It's on the ground.
got it back up. The issue is just the way we have it staked and uh, basically just pulled out the stake. We should have had multiples and the weight obviously just goes on there and weighs it down because this is just super sticky snow. Well, it's still not perfect, but it's definitely better. Snow's really coming down now. About to have some coffee. You're making me crazy. Got a little tiny coffee pot. So let's try to have some coffee. Get that heater. Joel's got it flame in here. It's <laughs> way too hot. All right, here's Joel's chair. I'm gonna let him use my toilet because he didn't bring one. So. There you go. I got a chair for you. So it's a, Thanks, buddy. It's got a fart hole too. We gotta enjoy this no bugs weather while we can. Yeah, bugs will be coming soon. Is that tarp's getting lower from all that weight. Yeah, I know. I could see it. Just keeps getting closer to me. <laughs> This is a tiny $10 coffee maker. This thing is not bad. Oh, not bad for how cheap it was. It's coming down, guys. I don't know if you can see it good. Look at that. You can hear the coffee going. It's smelling good. Mm -mm. Under Now under this shelter feels good. Audience at home, you guys like my chair? Look at that. Look at that nice chair. If I chair. have to do a little toot there, it just comes right, right out. out. There's no resistance. That's right. Crazy. <laughs> I gotta go pee again. Are you serious? Yeah, like seven times. There's no way, bro. Should I go to the doctor? You're, You're like, just slamming no water. Dude. I have or a big bladder. Dude. Big? That's not big. You wouldn't pee that much, bro. Top tab. It's so light. You got it. Time to take a sip of this coffee, guys. good it's strong for sure because he put a lot of coffee in there and there wasn't that much water we gotta wake you up very strong but yeah that's good this snow is really coming down guys i think what we're going to end up doing here is we're going to take our cots down in there so we have a lot more room i'm probably going to quickly take this down just because i don't want the weight of it getting so heavy that i got to worry about it and then we'll go in there and we'll hang out in the, the safe little shelter while it snows. That'll be sweet. Cheers again, buddy. So what are we eating, buddy? Uh, let me show you. Keep it very simplistic because I know you like simplicity. We got some pickled beet eggs. Ugh. Eggs, vinegar, water, beet juice. So they pickle it with beet juice. I guess I'll try it. Okay, let's try one. It's good till 20, 2024. March 2024. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's still good. Oh, dude. Feels weird, bro. Is it like, bro? There's no skin on it, but it feels weird. At least the inside looks about normal. <clears throat> Too much salt? No, it's like re it's really tangy. Oh. oh my god! Try it, dude. Oh lord. <laughs> what do you think? It's not that bad. It's just tangy, right? Yeah. I want want more than one. <laughs> oh yeah, it's tangy. Okay, how about some real breakfast? Oh, yeah. oh, we got it on, got it plugged in. It's ready to go, just gotta put the pan on it. Okay, start it. Some bacon. Oh. 
That's we got a little pan, pan, unfortunately, guys. That's all we got. 823 watts. Mmm, <laughs> good though. Something orange. Hash browns time. Yep. Guys, this is the most inefficient way to cook all this breakfast with this tiny little pot and pan. Yeah. So it's gonna use way more power than we probably should be using, but we should have enough power to do everything. Oh yeah, they're getting crispy. Careful, bro. Look at that breakfast stack up. There's bacon under there, there's hash browns, and there's toast, uh, French toast sticks. Now we got some eggs. Joel's hooking it up. Thanks, bro. What about that for a breakfast, guys? What do you think? Looks delicious. Yes. Oh, we I just know. gotta put some syrup on it and we'll be good to go. Skinny Ooh, sticks. That looks good, Pure actually. Pure maple syrup. Handcrafted in Wisconsin. Yep. Out in the forest. Load it up, dude. Let's see you pour it. Real maple syrup. Put a little bit on here. So good. It was worth the wait. How is it? Really good. Good. Minus Obviously, two. it's good because I cooked it, bro. You True. know what I'm saying? True. So guys, we're empty tent now. All we got is our heater going. So let me show you what I use to power everything in this video. This is the All Powers R4000. That's their largest power station so far. You can put up to 100 pounds on here. You just don't want to exceed that. So that does show it. It has a solid build. It feels super solid. It has two solid handles. So you or you and a friend can carry it. But of course, it's got an expandable handle so that you can roll it around because this thing does weigh 100 pounds because it has those new lithium iron phosphate batteries which basically last way longer and also it's a lot safer you don't have to worry about like fire hazards so i think it's like 3500 cycles down to 80 percent capacity and then it does have a touch screen 61 percent left you can see you turn dc and ac on and off by the press of the button or they do have a dc physical button and an ac physical button so and you can also use your phone because they do have an app you can connect via bluetooth or wi-fi it has one 12 volt cigarette lighter on it you can turn the screen on and off by pressing the button like if the lighting was bothering you so under the dc section you have two 100 watt usb c's which are fast charging you got two 18 watt usb a's which are also fast charging you got two 12 watt usb a's and then under the ac section you got four 20 amp 3600 watt wall outlets here and then you got a 30 amp rv plug so if you got an rv with a 3600 watt inverter this is really really nice and then here's the side just says all powers on both sides we can hit settings you can see you can change the language normal mode like if you want it to turn off after a certain amount of time you got your frequency you can turn it to like 50 hertz or 60 hertz depending on where you live if you don't want that sound on you can turn that off this is to turn your bluetooth on if you want to use your app Here's the backlighting. You can kind of turn on the brightness, which is really nice. Standard modes. This is just depending on how fast you want to charge. If you want to charge it super fast, you can do fast mode. Just more the regular. I think it's like a thousand watts. This is like 2000 watts. And then silent mode is going to be slower, but then at least the fans and stuff won't kick in if you want it to be quiet and you're not worried about it charging super fast. There's your Wi Fi if you want to turn that on. And under data, it just shows like the info about it and log if you had any kind of errors, it'll kind of tell you what those are. Then here on the back, you can see it shows you what's in there. You press it, pops open. You can see here's like the circuit breaker. If there's an issue and it wants to turn off, you can just reset it once you fix the issue. Here's your AC wall plug. There is no power brick. You just plug it in, plug in your wall, and you're good to go. Here is where you want to do expandable batteries. So this is 3,456 watt hours, but obviously you can expand a bunch more. So that is really nice if you have like an off-grid cabin or some house backup power. We have three XT60s able to handle 650 watts per XT60, up to 2,000 watts of solar, which is really nice. You can charge this thing up fast comes with a little carrying case comes with your manual the r4000 manual comes your ac wall plug to charge it but i do recommend getting the xt60 to the car charger just in case you end up using it in your car need to charge it from your car i don't think it's too much more and then if you do get a solar panel it will come with this one of their solar panels but if you have your own solar panel just make sure you have an xt60 connector to your mc4 so that you can connect your solar panel to this system well guys here is the all powers 600 watt solar panel this is by far the largest solar panel i've ever used and it is the largest portable solar panel there is in the market got two latches it actually weighs 27 pounds and is actually lighter than any 400 watt solar panel so let's see if we can uh, expand this thing here never done this goes this way this is 
different. This is a flat panel, so it doesn't have any legs to prop it up, but I kind of like that. I'm a type of person, I just like simplicity, where you just lay it out and leave it, and whatever solar you get, you get. I don't want to have to keep turning it and pointing it towards the sun. So under this side, it does have the flap where it has the MC4 cord that's going to plug into your power station. You can see it has the XC60 to the MC4 has these to help you hang it up. If you want to hang it up on the wall or your van or barn or deck, then it has these carabiners. I think it comes with six and then it has the manual. I'm not even sure what this is. Looks like it's got a five foot MC4 extension, which is really nice. A lot of these power stations, all they come with is just the basic connector for the solar panel to the power station. So these are pretty straightforward. They obviously only go one way. Just click them in like that. Click it in like that. You do the same thing, click it in, click that in. Just got to plug this XT60 into the power station. Pop that open, just plug it into one of the XT60 slots. We'll see if it gets any solar, I doubt it, but you never know, I guess. It's only getting about 29 watts right now because obviously it's completely cloudy and snowing. Well guys, I think this 600 watt solar panel is pretty sweet. It's a lot better than trying to plug in six 100 watt solar panels and have all those cords and have to carry them and set them all up. This does have 23% efficiency, which is basically what all the high quality solar panels get. And I know it has like an IP67 like water rating. So like light snow like this and light rain should be fine. Obviously if it's a downpour, you're going to want to bring it in immediately. Hold her back up. See if I can fold it up easier than I took it out because that was my first time. Bro, this is super easy. Leave this all connected. Just shove it back in here. That is by far the easiest takedown and setup of 600 watts I've ever seen. And the fact it's only 27 pounds for 600 watts, that's pretty sweet. So uh, I would say it has the Tolper's Caping approval. Yep. This? Yeah, open the big one, the, the back part of it. There we go. See what happens, guys. Oh, oh. sick. Oh, it's coming out quick, dude. Dang, there's a ton of birds over there. All right, guys, well, hopefully that was a fun adventure. We wanted to get out in this snowstorm and film a video, so we did. Obviously, we tried something different, a big blow-up tent. We stayed warm, we stayed dry. I thought it was pretty cool. So if you guys want to check out that tent, the power station or the solar panel, I'll have a link in the description. But we're going to head out of here and get some warm coffee, so we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.